When you hear from conservatives, whether they be popular politicians outside of uh, office, uh, party officials, members of Congress, describe health care reform as socialism, uh, an attack on freedom, the ushering in totalitarianism, uh, does that contribute to an atmosphere where opponents can go too far? Well, in my view, I think attacking this bill in terms of expanding government beyond anybody's imagination, where 80 percent of the country at the end of the day will be covered by a health care bill that is not paid for, that can never be paid for, is a legitimate debate. But when you use the N-word and when you question somebody's patriotism, you're off base. President Obama is a fine man. He's a good father. He's a good role model. He's an American liberal. The reason I don't say he's a socialist, because most people uh, associate that with being un-American. He is an American just as much as anybody else. The idea that he's very liberal, I think, is pretty clear to the American people. He ran as a centrist. He's governing from the left ditch. That's his big problem. And we don't need to call each other names. Chuck Schumer and I right. come from very different backgrounds. And we're going to work together to do some hard things. So let's focus civilly on the major differences of the role of government in our lives and what's honest and what's not. And, and part the rhetoric in, in a personal Senator way. Schumer, have opponents gone too far? Well, obviously there are some people way off the deep end, but you don't condemn a whole group or a whole movement for the outliers. You just ask the people who are uh, responsible, left, right, and center, Democrat and Republican, to condemn the bad words, to condemn the violence. That's been done. I've heard even the head of some of the Tea Party people condemn the violence. So I agree with Lindsey. I'm raring to go for a debate on the people.